Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to give uh, my testimony, uh, try to make it short and sweet. Um, about five years ago, uh, we started, um, I was looking around, going to different churches, uh, just searching for peace, searching for joy. And um, went to a couple churches in the area, and we eventually ended up, uh, which was a whole other God story, maybe I'll give that at some other point, but we ended up at Spirit and Truth. Um, in which they, uh, it's a very biblical, uh, church, uh, speaking truth. Um, so we went there, Yolanda had had some history of, uh, of being into a, a, a biblical church before, and, um, she <clears throat> was asked if she had the Holy Spirit and received the Holy Spirit, and with the evidence of speaking in tongues, and she uh, had not. Um, and one of the ladies had laid hands on her, and and uh, she started to speak in new tongues, which is awesome. Praise God. And we came home that night. Um, at my point, I was still just kind of I was kind of weirded out by everything. Uh, it's not something I grew up in. Um, but uh, when she came home that night, she said, things are going to be different. And I was like, oh, great. And the reason that I said, oh, great, was because I, I loved my sin. I was drinking uh, a bottle of wine, at least, uh, on a daily basis. And um, just wasn't happy. Had stuff, lots of stuff. But uh, still wasn't happy. And um, I was raising my kids up. I, need, I needed to change because uh, I wanted to be a good example uh, to my children um, instead of uh, they do what we do, not what we say. Anyway, uh, so within a couple of months of going there, um, they uh, Eric Cleveland had asked me, hey, do you, uh, you, know, you want to speak in tongues? I said, sure, why not? So... Uh, he prayed for me, and I began to speak in new tongues. Uh, this is biblical in, in the aspect of, uh, in Mark 16, at the end of the chapter there, it says, it says, for all those who believe, um, you shall cast out demons, you shall speak in new tongues, you shall lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. And if you drink any deadly drink, it won't harm you. And, uh, and if you take, it was about taking up serpents. Um, anyway, so, uh, my life began to change. I started to be convicted of, of things in my life that weren't, weren't right. They were sin is what they were, uh, in my heart. And uh, we started to change things. Um, after that point I did, uh, I needed to get rid of the, the old person. And so I was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and became new in Christ. <clears throat> um, and God just continued to work on me. Uh, from that point, uh, kind of fast forwarding a little bit, um, I watched this movie called The Holy Ghost and it has just a bunch of people uh, in, in the charismatic uh, praying for people and people were getting healed and I was like, wait a second. Um, I watched this movie, um, and after watching this movie, I looked at my wife, I'm like, I think I can do that. And she said, yeah, of course you can do that. It says that in the Bible. It says that you're supposed to lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And so the next day I went, I went, uh, to spirit and truth and, and I laid hands on my first person and, uh, and she was healed, uh, through Christ. Praise God. And, uh, and that's when it started. In Acts 1 it says, when you receive the Holy Spirit, when you receive the Holy Ghost, you receive power. And it's the same power that rose Christ up from the dead. And um, the journey began and I started to pray for more people and people were getting healed. Um, uh, there was a point in which uh, we had some 
Like, but people weren't being saved. They weren't bringing, bringing, being brought to Christ at that point. And so then, uh, um, we started to we just, I was just keep looking. I was looking into healing and, and casting out demons and, and things of that sort. And, um, there was just, uh, there was a teaching out there. It was the last reformation in which they, he was doing all of these things and, and biblically sound. Um, I was trying to find some things uh, to discredit it, and I couldn't. Um, and so then, uh, it was almost like kind of a discipleship in in the aspect of I saw how did how demons were cast out, and it was just because they were putting it out on a YouTube format. Um, I was just watching videos after videos. Um, and so since then, we've uh, our lives have changed. Um, as most of you know, we're selling our house. Our house is on the market. Um, it's it, I'm not leaving chiropractic or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> but I have. But we are selling our house, and we don't know where God's going to take us. He might take us to an apartment. I don't know. Um, I feel we might do camper life and just kind of bounce around here and there. But we'll still have a job and. Um, he hasn't called us anywhere else yet, so um, I just really wanted to kind of just put that out there that that I found peace in Christ, and that in uh, in John three five it says to be born again, to be to be new, to be in God's kingdom. You have to be born. You have to be born again of water and of spirit. And to be born of water is to be baptized, to be fully submerged, to die to your old self, to become new. And then when you come out, you will be filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in new tongues. And that is in uh, Acts 2.38 as well. It says to repent of your sins, to, uh, to put the old you behind you. But you can be new in Christ too. And I just give you that opportunity uh, out there. If you have uh, somebody you can talk to about that, that's awesome. If you don't, Give us a call, send us a text, a message. If, if your life isn't where it should be, um, we just give you that opportunity just to, you know, we're out here. If you ask us to come and pray for something or somebody, uh, we'll, we'll come. But we just, because uh, it says to lay hands on the sick. And, uh, and, there, and through this journey, we've just found so many awesome people. Uh, just people that are giving and loving and caring. There are uh, real Christians. Because the word Christian means like Christ. Like Christ. Hmm. That really kind of changed my idea of what a Christian, uh, what a Christian is. And, um, and it says that for all those who believe we shall uh, lay hands on the sick. Uh, also, I just want to go really quickly into uh, the de casting out of demons. Now, demons are just anything that's not of God. Pain, depression, anxiety. All those aren't, aren't of God. In fact, it says in the Lord's Prayer, it says, on earth as it is in heaven. So we're supposed to live on earth as it is in heaven. And I'm 100% sure that there's no pain, there's no anxiety, there's no stress there. But we can get into some other things uh, later on. I just wanted to give you a background really quick of where, what's going on in our lives and, uh, and my testimony. Thank you. God bless. And uh, yeah, have a great day.